All right, so welcome to our road to Camelot. I'm Steve. I'm Don. And uh, this is an interesting episode. We're kind of we've been really busy uh, trying to tie up loose ends and get ready to get back on the road. And we'll talk about that. Busy. Well, yeah, we'll talk about that right after this. Okay. You need a haircut. I need a haircut. <laughs> Two months of lockdown. Uh, I had a haircut just before the lockdown, and it's over two months now. Yeah. It was like March, what, 15, 16, when we finally, and I got a haircut just before, just that. before that. So, yeah, two and, a, two and a half months with no haircut. Um, yeah, so, anyways, yeah, busy. Um, I basically had uh, those projects that I did for, that. well, we, we shot, and then I edited for Cal for Am, we mm -hmm. shot a video on twelve different park models from four different Cal Am resorts here in Arizona. Yeah, in Arizona, on the on mm -hmm. the west, on the east side. Mm -hmm. uh, so those uh, just finished those up. Uh, we also um, we were helping Amber out with a number of things, the ice cream social. Uh, there's so a fun. gentleman here that was that. He's has, a former history teacher. He's a former history teacher. He has done these mm -hmm. lectures, and he has a lecture series that he does live, and it's it was really great, really successful. Everybody loved him. His name's Ken Sorensen, and we uh, Amber brought him back, and I helped out with the technology to do a live stream. For so people here in the park. People here in the park, right? But actually, it branched out to everybody in Cal Am. Oh, that's cool. But if you have the link, and I'll post yeah. the link, you can actually look and watch Ken Sorensen. Yeah, check him out because he's amazing. He's a fascinating man. I'm trying to... Yeah. Uh, there's a good chance he's thinking about it, and he was very intrigued. I may be helping him get his YouTube channel started uh, when we get back in town in October. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. He does not have one yet, but he should. He's, mm -hmm. he's pretty fascinating. He so is. I've been doing that. We have... Uh, we have a week and just a couple of days before we are officially on the road again. Hopefully. Yes, we should be. Right. And we, we were, should be. So two things we're going to kind of talk about this episode. This is kind of like the Seinfeld episode of Our Road to Colorado. Do you realize that last night, thank you, was one year ago we picked up our truck? Yep, one year ago. And what I mean about the Seinfeld episode... It's about, it's about nothing. nothing. <laughs> I think we got something there. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is kind of an episode about nothing, but it should be fun. Yeah, one year ago, we're one year anniversary of picking up the truck. Yeah. And Sunday the 31st will be the one year anniversary of picking up the fifth wheel. So, we're going to talk a little bit about our, one, our past year, but... Crazy past year. Before we get into the past year... Uh, Nothing that we planned. We'll have more about the la We'll have more about what I'm about to talk to you about right now, probably in the next episode because we've got a lot to do. Hey, to I've been doing thing. it. Okay, I have been getting my my coverage straightened out. I have been getting things reorganized. I, yeah, and there's a lot that you need to do when you've sat in one place. Oh, yeah. Now, it's not like storing your rig over the winter and then taking it out summer again. No. Nothing like that. We're Be living in this. Yeah. It's constantly moving and changing things in the cupboards so and taking things out. So, pots and pans may not get put back. away perfectly. Yeah. You try, but it doesn't and always they don't, happen. Stuff doesn't always get put away perfectly. Mm -hmm. Things get piled up and shifted, and we don't want to hit the road and have everything falling out of cupboards. So we're literally going from one end to the other, securing, uh, figuring out new ways to secure things. You know, in fact, even, even downsizing some stuff a yeah. little bit more, even. So there's a lot know, that goes into done. that. And, and, and unfortunately, because of the pandemic and because of the shelters in place, you know, we have a lot more food um, and things that we normally wouldn't store um, because we'd be going to the store 
you know, more frequently than we have been able to. So it's finding a place for that, which is taking up space that might have been where the pots and pans might have been, or something to that effect. Yeah, so it's like finding clothes. <laughs> clothes. It's finding all of the, you know, how are we going to pack this up and how are we going to do this? Exactly. So we're going to have more on that in the next episode as we'll be shooting all this week. Um, getting all that organized in the rest of this weekend. I've got a lot to do. I still have to organize the pantry. That's not going to be fun. Yeah. I'll be recalibrating the level of the rig. Mm -hmm. Somehow the zero point got off. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll show you a little bit of that. We also have... Um, have a tire to change. I mean, I got the tire fixed Remember a in long September? time ago. <laughs> tire? Flat tire? Got yeah. the tire fixed a long time ago before we even went to quartzite. Yeah. Still isn't back on the rig yet, so we're gonna get that back on. Get that back I on. got a new bike rack that we're gonna install yeah. for the bicycles in the back. So those don't fall off the back again. <coughs> right. Um, I don't know if you remember that one, but traveling so, down here, next thing people are going, "Hey, hey, you back? You bike?" You know, we're like, "What?" Yeah, and the barbecue grill. Yeah. Uh, using the barbecue grill as much as we have, it's pretty dirty. I gotta clean it. Uh, so I gotta scrub that down. Now, it's, it's not like I cook on a dirty grill, but... Notice most of this is his job. No, well, I'm not talking about yours, because you did a lot of yours already. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. but, but the grill, um, you know, I, you know, you you don't scrub it, scrub it down. You burn it off and scrape it down and all that, mm -hmm. but you, I, need it, I need it pristine clean to store it under the rig. I don't want it no, to have charcoal want... bits and things falling out of the <laughs> barbecue. It's the under the grate stuff that gets messed yeah. up. So that's so it's pretty dirty. It's under the grates, so I got to get that all cleaned up too. So we got a lot of work to do. Yeah, <coughs> getting the huskies ready. They've gotten their shots and they've gotten. Yeah. Uh, they're all updated on that, and um, they're going to be they're going to be happy because the next stop is going to be Las Vegas. Their, Las Vegas and their original groomer who they they like they a do lot. Like the, they, like the they like their groomer so. Yeah. We'll be we'll be happy to go there. So. so a year in review, we I mean yes, you can go back and watch all these old videos, but it just seems like a like Michigan's like a blur. It's a blur. It just it seems like just just recently. Yeah. You know, and now Michigan's going through all these floods because of the dams breaking. Wow. I mean, I feel so sorry for them. I mean, when we were there, the floods from rains and and everything yeah. else, and now this. They had a lot of flooding um, across the country last summer. You know, they've had a lot of yep. issues in Michigan. The last and, spring. And they, they don't deserve it because it's a great state. It's a beautiful state. Yeah. So um, a lot of a lot of things that went on with that, that, that mm -hmm. six-day road trip. I actually watched that again recently just to see that this really... You went to pain? This really happened. You went know? <laughs> to pain? Yeah. So, yeah. so we're... We're basically just kind of saying, yeah, we're we're ready to start a second round, uh, ready for round two. Um, our God first, only knows what's going to bring because, um, like the first one, the first stop is is we pretty had much our, given. we had everything planned out yeah. and nothing went the way it was supposed to. Well, back then too. Back yeah. then, you know, a that's year what ago, I meant. We had that's what I meant. Out. That's what I say. And we had everything planned out, and nothing went the way it was supposed to. I had stuff And now planned we have out. planned out this year, and I had it all planned out pandemic. January, February, and then now so, shut down. So, you know, it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So here's a couple of ideas of directions we may be going in, and if you're going to be in our path, <laughs> you Hit know, us up. Yeah, I was going to say, let us know, or... Mm. Uh, May God have mercy on your soul. No, just kidding. Uh, Why? <laughs> no, we are going to be passing. Uh, we are definitely going to be stopping in Las Vegas. We'll yeah. be there um, at least four to five days, possibly a full week. Mm -hmm. uh, part of it is is while well, we're visiting Aaron and Megan. And Our friends. We have a lot of friends there that we'll be yeah. uh, trying to contact. Hopefully you guys are available. We can run into you. Um, so hopefully we're getting we're, the puppies groomed. Yeah, getting them groomed. Uh, so basically, that's going to be step one. Um, They're sound asleep right now. It depends on what starts to get lifted. Um, I'm not sure what's happening on the eastern Sierras in California. Yeah, I think that's a um, bust at this point. We might hit it on the way home. And all of our friends in Vegas, uh, yes, we are healthy. We don't have temperatures. We will not come out if we if either one of us are not feeling well. So we promise to keep everybody safe. Yeah. yeah. But we're, uh, the other direction, we were talking about going up through Virginia City. 
Mm -hmm. uh, there were a couple of ghost towns I wanted to go through, which would have been a lot of fun. Oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to do some uh, ghost hunting episodes. So it may still happen. He wants to do ghost hunting episodes. Because I'm a non-believer. That's why it's funny. I think it should be fun. This and who knows? I'm not going to wash out. I might get my wits scared out of me, and then I can say, hey, you know what? There's really something about this. No, the Washoe, the Washoe Club I... in Virginia City. Check that one out. Mm -hmm. We might be heading that way. I don't uh, know about that one. I have to I have to get there and see what and happens. Then, uh, and then we'll be going through Goldfield, one of the mm -hmm. claims to be... Which we've done every year for how many years? Yep. And, uh, that's if we go up through Mammoth, though, right? Hopefully Bodie again, if that's a chance. We never did a, we've never done a video on it. Because You're going to take this show. thing back to Bodie? No, no. We drive the truck back. We camp, oh. we camp either in Mammoth or up at Levine or someplace. In Got it. Yeah. That's if you guys are open. We understand they're not open. Yeah, yet, so we don't know so what's open. Know what's what's not. So yet. we'll see. So that was one plan. If that's all locked down, we'll probably head up through Utah. Mm -hmm. And uh, main the number one thing is to get to cooler ground and find some place to fish. So <laughs> if uh, if anybody has any suggestions up there, mm -hmm. let us know. Mm -hmm. uh, the other option is to go more easterly up through Colorado. Yeah. And we have some friends that have given us some suggestions of places in Colorado. You go so up with them. we've got yeah we've got mm. three different directions: west, in the middle, or more mm. easterly to make our way up. Ultimately, we will be in Whitefish, Montana, sometime At some point. either late July or early no, August. Yeah. If we do the westerly route, in fact, once once again. I, I don't know if anything in Oregon or even parts of the state of Washington are open. I am up. not going to Washington Oregon Washington. Washington was hit hard. I'm sorry. Not well, right the, now. The place I want to go, I don't think is going to be... It's not a major center for population, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. All, all the places I'm looking we'll at are see. non -populated. Anyway, bottom line is this. Mountains, we don't know. Mountains and streams and lakes is yes. what I'm looking for. To quote John Muir, the mountains are calling and I must go. Yeah. So. Right. So we're definitely, one way or another, it's going to be involving a lot of mountains, a lot of streams, a lot of lakes, and mm -hmm. the opportunity to kill a few fish. Pines. This is probably the most organic travel that we have ever done, because we don't even have, other than, other than Montana... We don't have a real destination, and we may be, mm. just be wandering for a while and just enjoying All those life. who wander are not lost. No, of course not. Yep. And we wander. So... Whoa, 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 whoa. Never mind. Yeah, we just know next week that we got to get this rig ready to roll. Yeah. So probably by the 2nd... Yeah, because I want to have an anniversary dinner at McMullen's. So, I'll tell you what, everybody's invited, Selecha. provided they don't run out of room. Uh, we're McMullen's set of tables in the parking lot. They're not big. So they <laughs> They're can, not big. I probably shouldn't probably invite everybody. Off. You can yeah, cut that out. Uh, yeah, so for, forget I just said that. No, you need to cut it out. You need to edit it out. I need to edit it out. Please do. Just like I edited that other thing. <laughs> Okay. At McMullen. Mc, 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 McMullen. So I'll tell you what, everybody, 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 everybody's invited. Slacha. Well, I think we're going to keep this one on the shorter side because we do have a lot of work to do. But we just wanted to get a chance to tell everyone we're thinking about you. We're excited about getting back on the road. Um, get to see everybody. Yeah, I'm hoping to be able to see yeah, all of our friends thing. that lie within the path that we are headed. Yeah. <laughs> Missy and I already have it planned, so we're we're on yeah. it. So we're. I know uh, she'll, she, Missy's going to be at McMullen's. Oh, that, cool! So. All right, so basically that's kind of the that's kind of the the plan right now. And uh, now here's a few things though. I want to make sure that if you go back and watch into the old videos, make sure you hit that like button. That's the thumbs up button. Oh, excuse me. No, uh, if you're I'm not subscribed asleep. and you don't, if you're not subscribed and you're watching this through Facebook, open up in YouTube and go ahead and hit the subscribe button in YouTube. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to, we're, we're doing another subscriber push. <laughs> you know, one of these is I should do a, I should do a mock PBS subscription telethon. Oh, please. No. <laughs> 
And if you hit subscribe today, you'll get this 30 CD set. No. Uh, <laughs> of what? I don't know. At, the Husky Sleeping? Act his greatest hits. Him singing the song of his people. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Oh. You know, somebody would probably like that. Other Huskies. But a 30 CD set might be a little much. Okay. But please, hit that subscribe button. Also, push that... Bell. The notification bell. Yeah, the notification bell. Because we do post every Sunday at 2. We try. Well, we it have. May be, it may be just a there's, show about nothing like right now. There's only... There, there, there is no try. There's only do. Yoda. I love that quote. And we've, we've hit it every once. So why are we going to stop now? So one full year. Yes. One full year. This is going to be episode 53 coming up here. So... Yeah. Guys, we love you. Hey, uh, let us know. Any of you guys that have been following this for the year, you know, let us know. Drop us a line. I want put, to hear put from you. Put a note in the comments. What you think. Put yeah. a note in the comments. I do Please answer do. those. Yeah, looking forward Please to that. Do. So that's about it. Uh, hope everyone's well. We will see you definitely now. I can say we'll see you on the road. And safe travels. Sláinte.